Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be setting up my budget planner for the month of August. So I have my Hustle Now, Play Later mini happy planner. This is from the Ready Set Goals line. And I've pulled out, or I've opened it up to August. This is an undated planner, which is amazing because it means that you can start it whenever you want. So if you miss a month or if you just got it. So in the past, I've put some stickers down to date them, but I don't have a ton of time today. So I think I'm just going to write these dates in, or maybe I will use a sticker, but I'll fast forward that part. Okay, so I have these down, but what I realized is with the 30th and 31st, I'm gonna remove these for a second. We have these four dates that are all on sort of the same day because of the way that the August calendar starts where the first is on uh, a Saturday. So I'm gonna try something out. I have to figure out the logistics of it because I haven't done it in a while. There's sort of this trick. I'm pulling out my label paper as usual. And, whoops, just knocked over my water. Okay. I want to see if I can remember how to do this. I cut this part off for now, so I'm working with a smaller space. So, Essentially, I want to cut two squares that are about the right size of this. And you could use a sticker for this. You don't have to use label paper. All right, so now I need two of them. Let's see, maybe I can just do it this way. I'll turn it over and kind of trace it. And these aren't going to be perfect and now I have to do it for two dates. So what you would do is put down kind of half of this sticker diagonally. Actually, did I mess this up already? Anytime, if you've been watching my videos, anytime I try to do something logistically on camera and use my brain and talk and film at the same time, it doesn't really work. Let me try to put that down this way. Okay, Elise, how did we, how have we done this in the past? If this doesn't work, I will just do it on next month's video. Okay, so I think I wanna do that. And then, this won't be perfect, but put this sticker over it like this. Okay, yeah. I guess I didn't need two squares. I kind of just needed a square and a triangle. Let's see. All right, so now the way this should work, I'll have to clean that part up shortly, but I just had my tiny scissors. Let me see if, there we go. If I can find them and clean this up a little bit. Otherwise, everything that touches this page is going to get sticky. All right, now, the way that this will work is, so first, well, I didn't really bend that properly. So I'll have the 23rd already on the page and then this fold over thing will be the 31st. So now I have two full boxes for those and a fun little flap. It should be nicer than that. <laughs> it should be better, but that's okay. Now let me cut one more. Now that I kind of know kind of what I'm doing. Let's see if 
this is the right size. Definitely not the right size. Okay, I'll try to measure it. It's hard to measure with these because I don't wanna stick the paper down. That's a little bit better. Now, hmm, it should still be taller. Okay, let's try one more time. Thank you for bearing with me as I try to figure this out. Not perfect, but it's fine. Cut that side. And now, just do this triangle part here. Maybe I can use one of the other ones that I cut. Seems to be a lot of work, and if I had it better figured out originally, it wouldn't have been as much. Um, but it's also kind of one of those things that happen when you use an undated planner. All right, perfect. So we have the 23rd, now the 24th. And now the, oh, this should have been the 30th, not the 31st. Alright, 30th, okay, now it is a dated planner. Right. Now let's get back to the good stuff. So first up, I'm pulling out my budget sticker book from the Ready, Set, Goals line also, brightening up this room, and then, okay, first I'm going to put down my Build Do stickers. So these little circles are perfect for this planner. They're the perfect size for these monthly boxes right here. I guess probably any mini planner they would be the perfect size for. And I know my build due dates, so I'm just gonna stick those down for those dates. And let's see. Okay, so I have one the 23rd, so this is a good example because now I should be able to put this here. Hmm. I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble with that. I may have to remove these, but I'll figure that out off camera because it's not working out very well right now. And then I have the 28th, the 25th, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm missing, okay, the 11th. All right, next up, I'll write down those, but after my bill due, I have my savings trackers. So I've been using a savings challenge all of 2020 from the Budget Mom, and every Monday I update my savings envelopes with um, different amounts based on what that month's challenge is. Okay, we have savings there. And then, again, I'm not sure exactly how well this one's going to work, but there I have those savings. So Mondays and Thursdays are when I update my savings trackers. So let me put that here. And then I need to see if there are any bank stickers in the sticker book because I, I used to go to the bank every week to withdraw my cash spending and savings for the week because I don't use um, credit cards or anything and try to be an all cash spender. But because of COVID, the bank is only open drive-through and it takes so long 
like an hour each time, even when I get there at opening and they're only open, of course, the hours that I'm working. So I've been doing it every two weeks. I don't know if there are bank stickers in here. There's probably a piggy bank one, but that's kind of what I already used here. So no, there are not. All right, let me date this planner. So it did come with stickers, but I'm going to use from journaling the August sticker and I'll put it, hmm. I'm kind of covering, how did I do it in July? I feel like I was covering, well, July is much shorter. Okay, maybe we won't be using the August sticker. Let's see if I should just use one of these, maybe make it easier. Yeah, I can just stick that right there or I can put it here. Okay, that works. August, now. What's up next? Let me try to take a look at something. Okay, I did this last month and I really liked it, so I wanna try it again, where I cut out my financial goals part of this. And this way, as the month goes on, I'm kind of reminding myself of what my goals are and I can take a peek at them at a glance right on this monthly page probably still have to cut off a little bit more. Okay, perfect. Now I have them there. Let me grab some tape runner. Put this down. bigger piece okay and now this is perfect for putting down my financial goals okay so now what I'm going to do is write down some of the financial goals that I have for August and this is really the different things that I'm going to be saving for in August so emergency fund car repair, which hopefully my car doesn't need any, but I try to bump up that fund as much as I can in case, or for when the time comes that it does. Um, medical, again, I don't need any right now, but eventually I'm sure I will. <laughs> and that includes dental. If you've been following me on Instagram for a while, you know I tend to need a lot of dental work. Um, wedding, I have a wedding coming up. Well, I have a few weddings coming up actually, and I'll need to save for those gifts. And then, let me see, what else? Let's see what I saved for last month, if I can remember. Wedding, ah, <laughs> important ones, retirement. I have a bit of a headache today, so my brain is not functioning at normal capacity. And uh, Go Wild 2021. And then holidays. August is the perfect time, if you haven't started yet, to start saving for the holiday season. And then let's see if I just missed any in here. Um, also birthdays. I have a couple of birthdays coming up in September that I wanna be sure I put aside money for. Okay, so that page is done and ready for me to just fill in my bills and my savings amounts. Then I wanna go to this, which is kind of like a currently page for a mini. And I wanna use this sticker, which is a six week savings challenge, but I don't need six weeks. I just need five since, the sticker's gonna curl up, since there are five paydays in August. So I'm going to lay this down and just cut it off before the six. Okay. 
and then I'll cut this part off right here. Perfect. So I have that, and then because, oops, this seems to have gotten blurry, here we go. Uh, because I don't need that six part, I'm just gonna use a pen. Once it dries, it'll, it won't be as visible, but just my Sharpie pen to cover up that six week savings challenge part. And so now it's a perfect five week. All right, so now this is perfectly here. And my goal for August, I'm trying to remember what month we're in, is to save uh, $500 in my general savings. So if you've been following me for a little while, you know I have a couple of different savings. One is general, one is emergency fund, um, then there's retirement, then there's sinking funds, there's a lot of them. But this is my general savings. So I'm just going to write general here to keep me on track. And then each week when I get paid, I will update this as to my deposit and my balance. And then here, budget for the month of, I can pull back that journaling sticker I didn't get to use before. And let's see, this one, whoops, looks like it cut off a little bit there. did it again. Let me just cut off the top of this. Okay, that's it for the month of August. And then I'm just going to use a mild liner to color this in a little bit and make it pop. I think that budgeting is not fun, but I've gotten better at it. I've started to enjoy it more once I see myself starting to accomplish goals that I've set. Um, but planning definitely, I think, makes it more fun when you can make it pretty, because who would have thought that a budget planner could look so cute? I will say a budget planner isn't going to make you budget. I mean, it may, hopefully it does. Hopefully it helps, but I wouldn't, you know, sometimes I see some people go ahead and spend a lot, a lot of money on budgeting supplies. And really, all I use to budget, I mean, all you really need to budget is uh, a pencil, probably, a pen, paper, and a calculator. But this does help me. I'm just saying don't go and spend all your money on, on these kind of supplies. Okay, and then I'll use these spaces for things that come up throughout the month and unexpected spends. You know, of course, things come up that maybe we're not prepared for. Part of my budgeting plan is to try to be prepared for everything that I can, but yeah, you know, that's not always going to be the case. And that's where an emergency fund or sinking funds come in. Okay, so I have my overview for the month of August. I have this page for the month of August, uh, these little messy ones, but that's okay. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. And I would love if you took a moment to subscribe and let me know in the comments if you use a budget planner, have a good one.